All right, this is Carlos Pacheco trying out Evolve Functional Fitness on the iPad and on the Apple TV. I'm going to log in and choose my workout. And today we're going to go for core. I'm going to do a stand. Uh, hmm, do I want standard? All right, let's do a standard. Hi, I'm Brent. Welcome to Evolve Core One. Today we're setting the foundation that's going to set the tone for how you move in day-to-day -day life and in sport. We're focusing on core, we're focusing on balance. This exercise program is going to bring some awareness to what you might need to improve upon. You guys ready to get started here? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to start off with a warm-up, of course. Drive your knee up to the chest, pull toward the chest, you're going to feel the hamstring stretch up. So we'll alternate sides here, just back and forth. As you feel yourself loosen up, you can pull a little bit harder, keep your posture nice and tall. Okay? So as always, we have three mods. Mod one is the easiest, mod three is the most difficult. Okay, so you may mod up or mod down according to how you feel during the workout. So this is designed to keep you going, to keep your core focused, and work on your stability here. Let's switch it up a little bit. Go into just a partial lunge. Right, so step back, and we're just going to keep moving through this, back and forth. Nice tall posture. Check out tutorials, right, if you need further explanation on how to do these exercises properly. We want to focus on precision of form, okay? So go to tutorials and use those as you need. Keep going here. We're going to go two more steps. Last step per side. Excellent. Okay, next one is a little bit of balance. So you're going to take your right leg off the ground, reach just about waist height, and then come back off. Opposite side, reach over waist height, and come back off. Your standing leg should be partially bent the whole time. Okay, we got about two and a half minutes left of our warm up. We're going to go around and take a look at our mods here. We got Bar Tech. How are you doing? Mod 1, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you, man? Very good. You're here to improve your football, aren't you? That's right. Okay, this is going to help you on that gridiron. Mod two, we have Courtney. How are we feeling? Good, I'm good, I'm ready for this. Courtney teaches self-defense, I found out. This is going to help you with your self-defense and balance. If you're feeling at the top of your game, you're going to go to the mod three position here. Okay, we have candidates here at mod three who's going to be demonstrating that. All right, so we're going to switch up the movement. Toes out, push out as you go down into a squat, and then pull back in, squeeze the blades together. So it's out and in, just like that. I want you to really focus on drawing those shoulder blades together. It's important to get those postural muscles active. We want circulation going through all your muscles here. You have to go another five reps. Four, that's it. Three, two, and one. Okay, so we're going to get you running on the spot, heel kick. So heels come right up to the butt. Right? You want to feel a light stretch through the front of your thigh, and you're engaging the back of your leg here. You can keep the arms pumping as well to help set your cadence. So we'll keep going with that for about 15 more seconds. Excellent. So we're gradually bringing that heart rate up a little bit. A lot of these exercises that we're getting into are slower paced, but you're going to have to focus on what you're doing. That's it. So let's keep that going. Another five seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg. I want you to kick right through, kick right through. Again, don't force it. You can kick a little lower to begin with. As you feel yourself loosen up, you can get a little higher. What I don't want you to do is round over. So keep your posture nice and tall. Chest high, shoulders back, always. So in this first set, we're doing seven exercises with a cardio blow at the end, and we'll repeat the whole thing again. Good, five more kicks. Four, three, two, and let's go backwards arm circles. So nice wide circles here. Get the shoulders warmed up. Good, another five, four, three, two, and let's repeat opposite direction, nice and big. Perfect. Good, last five. Four, three, two, and one, good. All right, so we're about to end this warm up. We're gonna start the first round of set A, starting with single leg deadlifts. You guys ready for this? So the single leg deadlift, YWT. So a little balance involved here, stand on your left leg, partially bent, right? You wanna get right out into a 90 degree position if you're mod three. Y position with the arms, then W, then T. Then you're going to shoot right back up and repeat. I want you to stay there until halfway. Okay? Ready? Three seconds. Two and one. Here we go. So extend through the crown of your head. 
Feel yourself elongate. So the head elongates in one direction, the foot in the opposite direction here. So if we look at our mod three, again, a lot of balance requirement here. Look at the ankles, a little bit of shaking is normal. You'll feel yourself shaking, particularly on the first set, right? As your body gets used to it, you might find a little more stability on the second set. Very good, switch sides for me. So mod two, we have Courtney here, not quite all the way down to 90 degrees, but again, still focusing on straight posture, neutral neck, same arm movement. Very good, the same stability, that's it. Good, so if you're having problem with balance, focus on one spot on the ground. Find that little speck on the ground that you can focus on to maintain your balance. That's it, last three seconds. Let's go one more up here. Find your balance bar, Tech. Nice job. Okay, next is the ballet squat. So we're gonna go 45 degrees with the toes. Arms are overhead, okay, get onto your toes. Two seconds on the way down, all the way to 90 for mod three. Hold for a second, and then two seconds on the way up. Stay on your toes the whole time, okay? Starting in three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. Nice and controlled. Good, Bart, did you know it's a requirement now for the NFL to uh, at least do 10 hours of ballet when they're training? Oh, that must be new. I didn't hear about that one. <laughs> But in all truth, a lot of football players do incorporate it. Great for balance, great for stability, right? You're focusing on movement patterns with ballet. Very effective training, cross training for the sport. Okay, keep it going, we have about 15 seconds left. So the difference with mod two here, we got the arms straight out in T position. We're going a little bit deeper than mod one. In mod one, you have the hands on the hips. You're almost there. We should get two more reps. Mod three, we're staying right above the head with those hands. Three seconds, two, and one, excellent. Okay, hello planks come next. You're gonna go left forearm, right, plant your forearm on the ground, stack your feet. You wanna pack your shoulder. What I mean by that is you wanna make sure you set your chest high, shoulders back, and that shoulder is in a locked position directly above the elbow, okay? From there, you're gonna raise your hand in the air. You're gonna come all the way down towards the head, or towards the ear, then all the way down to the hips. The whole time, your hips should stay stable and elevated. Okay, I'll let you know when to switch sides. Starting in three seconds, two, and here we go, let's go over to bar tech first here. So mod one, main difference here is you have your bottom leg bent 90 degrees, top leg still straight, hips are still elevated, and we're not coming all the way to the head, we're coming right sort of straight on the T, perpendicular to the ground. But you feel that lower side, right? Yeah. There we go. So exhale as you lift, inhale as you go down. We got one more rep and we'll switch sides. Yeah, so switch sides for me. So difference here with the mod two, we're staggering the feet. So again, nice straight line from shoulder, hip, and then right between the feet is where that line ends. Hips are nice and high. Good, and we're getting a little fuller range of motion with the arm. Breathing, staying focused, keeping that core drawn tight. Excellent, and we finish up here with our mod three. Last rep, two, and one. Okay, so next one, we're gonna stay on the ground. Lie on your left side for me. It's all about the uptown crunch. We're going uptown today. So what you wanna do is you're gonna put your arm Against the ground, have your fingers extended towards the ceiling, right hand behind the head. And what you're gonna do is bend your legs slightly, we're gonna hover off the ground. You wanna contract that lower side, bring your rib cage to your hip, okay? Your legs 